welcome. Thank you, Scorpio Mind, that I can be part of your recipe because today we make together not apple, I just snacked it, but some chocolate hummus. <laughs> because we got inspired on Instagram. Yeah, we also get inspired on Instagram. We love to inspire you, but we also love to get inspired and we saw some chocolate hummus and now we make it ourselves and you will be inspired and maybe make it yourself as well. But without further ado, what did we what do we have here? <laughs> Thank you for doing my outro, uh, my, in my intro, Ferdinand. Um, well, it's super easy. Ferdinand just cooked some um, chickpeas today. It was today. Um, so we'll just have some chickpeas, some chocolate, some cacao, some dates to sweeten, and some cashew butter, some vanilla. That's pretty much all you need. And then, um, yeah, we'll just roll the clip and then you can see how to make your own. And this is how many <laughs> chickpeas I made, so we have them yeah. handy and yeah, if you make them fresh, soak them overnight and then just cook them for half an hour to an hour and we recommend making them fresh because mm -hmm. you don't want to take cans because often they add salt and if they add salt, ugh, it, yeah, tastes it tastes salty. So, weird. so either buy canned salt free or just make them fresh. Uh, you can find the whole recipe down below because this was a rather short video, um, more like a cinematic thing because I was filming very nice mm. because it's so much fun to just get some other shots in. Mm. Do you like it? Mm. 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 Haven't you tried yet? Uh, yes, a little bit. It's so good. Oh my god. Maybe because I'm super hungry, but trust mm. me, it's so delicious. Mm. Mm. It's just like the. <laughs> The biggest treat, but super healthy, you know? It is, I love it. Crazy good. So, make it yourself. It's similar to cookie dough, mm -hmm. but we call it chocolate hummus. It's because it's made from chickpeas, so that's why it's hummus. And now the best starts <laughs> to finish off the food processor. Now we just eat something. <laughs> Mm. And guess what guys, there's some other super exciting news, maybe you already know it, but we've been working on our merch and mm -hmm. it dropped today, <gasps> it dropped today, we have a lot of uh, super awesome designs, t-shirts, shirts, a lot of leggings, which I'm super excited about. Um, crop top, hoodies, so on and much more to come. Yeah. I love it. It's just the start. So if you've got any designs on mine which you really, really, really want, 
just let us know and we can uh, design it. Make it happen. And for now we already have so many designs, it's incredible. So link in bio, vegansavage.com, check it out. We tested them now for over a month. They're so comfortable and all materials are vegan, fair price, etc. We, we want to build a nice community, rely on your feedback, make it happen, nice new shirts to spread the message because it's so nice to live and spread the compassionate lifestyle and what's better to spread it than by wearing a nice shirt where you spread the message, attract like-minded people, it's like the best filter and you see what vegans look like, you look happy and people associate it immediately with something more positive and yeah, that's what need, we need. We need to get rid of the oh vegans are bad stereotypes. So I, I wear these shirts all the time in the gym and so many people talk to me and so many people just see it like ah oh, he's a strong guy, he's obviously vegan, nice so I guess vegans can be strong so the stereotypes and all that gets out of the head and people associate vegan people with healthy vibrating chocolate hummus eating <laughs> crazy hippie dudes mm. maybe crazy no, no thanks for watching thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this recipe if you've got anything else in mind just let me know down in the comments below and check out the merch check out the merch like this video if you like the video and subscribe see you next time here on my channel